Today we're unboxing this really cool AirHogs Elite Helix X4 stunt quadcopter. The remote comes with three pre-programmed stunts, including barrel rolls, flips, and 180 degree flips. It operates on 2.4 GHz spectrum and the remote takes eight AA batteries. One of the best features of this quadcopter is that it has active gyro stabilization it's crash resistant, the ducted fans are uh, protected from uh, impact with any other objects. Uh, the remote control has, is a full four channel remote control. The copter actually has a four, eight way control versus a uh, you know, typical four way control on a lot of uh, standard remote control helicopters. Another cool feature is that it has a novice and expert setting button. Uh, the novice setting is a little bit more uh, forgiving for uh, for kids and uh, and newbies, uh, the stunt selector button and actually the stunt stunt uh, button itself. Opening up the box itself, you can see that the uh, quadcopter is well packaged. Comes with a uh, nice USB cable, the quadcopter itself, and the remote control. Looking at the Helix X4 quadcopter remote control, you've got an altitude adjustment. A nice thing here is that you can adjust it to one of these clicks and it'll stay at that altitude. You've got an aircraft rotation, left or right rotation. You've got the on and off power button which has two modes. It has the novice mode and it also has the expert mode. Uh, on the right joystick, you've got the forward, reverse, left and right movement. You've also got the th stunt selector button here, stunts one through three, as well as the actual stunt button here. And last, you've of course got the charging cable, which you can plug into the uh, aircraft to charge it, and it's rewindable. Looking at the quadcopter itself, you've got the four counter-rotating uh, ducted fans. You've got your power switch, as well as the charging port. Overall, it seems like a pretty solid aircraft. A lot of these are a little bit flimsy or they look like uh, if you crash one time, that'll be the end of it. But this one uh, seems seems pretty solid. It won't damage your walls if you fly it inside. Uh, it won't damage the helicopter if you have an impact uh, due, to, due to the uh, ducted fans here. Uh, on this end, you've got the status LEDs. And this end is just the uh, a fin here. Um, but overall, it looks like a pretty solid little aircraft. Uh, nice thing is you got the counter-rotating ducted fans, which really help stabilize it and keep it from, from drifting off, and it makes it a lot more fun for novices or experts to, to fly. Uh, one of my favorite things about it is actually that it comes with a USB charging cable here um, with the correct adapter on the end. So that way you don't have to charge using your, using your remote control and using... Uh, using up your eight AA batteries that it takes, and that's a uh, that's a huge saving since we all know that AA batteries are pretty expensive. Uh, the nice thing with this charging cable is you could plug it into your computer, and you could also plug it into uh, you know iPhone or a uh, iPad charger like this, and uh, just charge it right from the wall. Interesting thing about the Helix X4 quadcopter is that it has to go through a linking or pairing process each time you turn it on. Now it needs to be on a flat surface in order to calibrate the accelerometer. If you go ahead and power it on, you'll notice that at first one of those LEDs was orange. Go ahead and, and power on the remote control and you'll see that they've now synchronized. In order to get it to fly or activate it, go ahead and put down this joystick to the lowest setting possible. You'll notice that it's not, uh, not flying right now, but as soon as you start to uh, push up on the 